So I'm looking forward to this week. Uh, it's pretty exciting. I got to see a lot of their, ga their games on TV last year uh, when they had that great season. It looks like a pretty pretty awesome environment, and uh, you know, they're a very good team. And the only two, their only losses this season have been to Texas, who's one of the best teams in the country, and Houston, who until this week was undefeated. And uh, so they're a very good team, and I know they haven't lost at home since 2007. I looked that up last night, so it's, it's they got a pretty good home field advantage. So it's an exciting opportunity. Hope you heard about their fans over there. I I remember watching. Uh, Last year, everyone watched that memorable Texas game, but I remember watching, uh, watching it, and they talked about how they, uh, they actually, the student section will pull up bleachers or something, and just that they'll pull up a whole row of bleachers and take it out of the stadium, and uh, it sounded like a pretty raucous place, and uh, definitely, definitely sounds like a good student section. Grant, Saturday was such an emotional day for you. How do you kind of let all that go and get focused on this week? Is that hard to do at all, or are you ready? No, it's not hard to do. I mean, the, waited so long for this opportunity, I can't. Can't be thinking about the past now. It's time to time to move on. We're playing the best team we've played to this point, and got to try to find a way to win. Um, Coach Snyder said something along the lines here earlier today about how uh, you seem like you were born and raised in Kansas from the time you came in here. Where does the pride come um, for Kansas State from you? Just that they gave me. Coach Snyder gave me an opportunity when there was not a single other Division One, and let alone a BCS team that would. I mean, to for him to bring me in here uh, and have the confidence that I could help this team win, that, I mean, w once you get here, there's a lot of pride around here. You got the, this staff, I mean, they, a lot of these guys were here through all the bowl games the, from 89 from, uh, to 2003, that whole, that whole fantastic, fantastic run that K-State had. And when you hear the guys talk, uh, Coach Gordon, Coach Smith, uh, Terry Pierce, guys like that who talk, talk to us during uh, – during camp, Brooks Barta. I mean, this this is a special place, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Grant, you've obviously transferred around to a couple of schools. But what were your, I guess, what were you thinking going into each place? Like when you went to Indiana and South Florida, and out here, did you expect to start at all three? Uh, I, when I when I signed with Indiana High School, they had a uh, they had a returning starter quarterback, Matt Lavecchio, who was actually a transfer himself. He uh, and he was a solid player, and uh, that was one of the reasons I went there because he was a senior, have a chance to redshirt and hopefully compete for a starting spot. But with the, the change in the coaching staff, I kind of got lost in the shuffle and uh, didn't really get a chance to compete in the spring and ended up leaving. And down in South Florida, there was a, the quarterback situation. They told me it was pretty much going to be open after uh, after that year and uh, after the year that I sat out. And Matt Grothy won the job, and the rest was history there. So uh, and when I got the opportunity to get a sixth year and come here, um, I knew that it was going to be uh, – Competition between me and Carson, and hopefully I was going to win. Uh, hopefully I was going to win the job. I didn't do that at the uh, beginning of the year, and he played. And uh, hopefully I get a chance to keep playing. Grant, earlier in the year you had a little trouble with your passing, but it seems like that settled down quite a bit. What do you attribute that to? Uh, just work and practice. I mean, just calming down and 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 trusting trusting what we're doing. I mean, it, everything everything you do that's new is going to be a little bit difficult and. Uh, I feel a lot better, a lot more comfortable with the receivers now, and it's it's just just comfortable. The fact that I knew I was gonna that that we 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 got a good running game established that takes pressure off the quarterback, and just going out there and playing and let, letting it loose. You um, had the opportunity to maybe start your second game, obviously on Saturday, and Texas Tech has the may start start a new starter for the first time this season, maybe a little more of a level playing field in, in that respect, and do you feel like you have, you can prove something in this game in a hostile environment? Uh, I hope we can prove something as a team. I hope we can, uh, as I said, they haven't lost since 07 there. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be amazing to, to end that streak. I don't know how many games. It's probably been at least 10 games, but uh, individually, individual stuff doesn't matter. I just want to help the team win, and I got to see a, got to see their replay on Fox Sports the other night, and he's he's a very capable quarterback himself. I, I, I he can play. There's no, no doubt about that. He's going against a good team every day in practice, and I know Coach Leach wouldn't put him in the game if he wasn't pretty good. So, when, How much? You, when you originally weren't named the starter, oh, here, I mean, obviously you kept a pretty positive attitude. But was that easy or hard to do? Uh, some days, some days it's hard. Some days it's it, it wasn't. But I mean, out on the football field, it's that, that's that's what I love to do. So every day in practice, it was just like I get to play football. Even if I, I mean. It's it's tough not getting to play on Saturdays, but I mean, getting to play during practice is better than yeah. what most people 
most most people who are just have regular day jobs too, so still get to still get to have fun out on a football field. Did you Great. feel like maybe when you did get to play more against Tennessee Tech, something like this could happen? Maybe? I was confident. I've been confident in my ability since since really since I'd say 06 is when I felt like I became a pretty good quarterback. My my third year in college, it took it took it takes a while for quarterbacks to develop sometimes. But I felt like I became a pretty solid quarterback in 06. Unfortunately, I was behind somebody that was good. But I felt if I ever had the opportunity to play a whole game, I, I, I could do some good things and help a team win. Grant, plain and simple, how difficult will it be for this team to get a victory down in Lubbock this week? Very. It'll be very difficult. We're going to we're gonna have to make a lot fewer mistakes uh, than we did this past week. And we're going to, I hope we're in the game in the fourth quarter and we can have a, have a chance to win at the end. And the, uh, the four-game four winning streak Texas Tech has over K-State, their quarterbacks have all been different, but they've all averaged 458 yards passing against this defense. Could you bat them passing for that? That's, that's about what I had. That's about what I have in my career. That's, uh, <laughs> uh, they, they, get, they get good quarterbacks every year. They have a great system. Uh, that, that's, a, that's an extraordinary number, and... I mean, getting getting 250 yards in the game is a lot, but for them, they average I think 420 a game. I mean, that's amazing. It's, it's a it's a really it's a really awesome offense, and Coach Leach is obviously a great coach.